hi everyone dear students in this session i will be discussing problems from transient analysis in the entire network analysis transients is one of the very important topic for any exam in this topic to get the confidence first read the basics of inductor and capacitor without understanding basics don't go to the problems directly and uh, when solving problems also at the starting start from the very simple questions later go for the difficult questions now let's take one simple example in this example our requirement is a vx value in this example our requirement is a vx value at t equal to 0 plus instant in the transient problems every time concentrate on the switch position very carefully if you observe this example at t equal to 0 seconds the switch is open focus on this arrow mark very carefully arrow mark can get upwards t equal to 0 seconds the switch is open now before proceeding for solution let us see some basics in the transients In the transients, we consider the total time period as a from minus infinite to plus infinite. At one instant, the time reaches to zero seconds. In the problems also, every time use the terminology as a zero minus into the zero plus. Meaning of zero minus is the immediately before operating the switch. Meaning of zero plus is the immediately after operating the switch. If you see this figure, every time rumor is in the arrow more direction, the switch is operated. At t equal 0 seconds, here the switch is closed. Arrow mark in here upwards. At t equal 0 seconds, in this example, the switch is open. <coughs> if you change the switch position, that entire solution changes. That's why here, before proceeding any problem, concentrate on the switch positions very carefully. Now, first let us take example as a resistor. <coughs> Here the resistor nature is a, it allows sudden change of current. It allows sudden change of the voltage. But it does not store any energy. If network has only resistive elements, in that network no transients are the present. First let's start from the T equal to 0 minus. 0 minus is immediately before operating the switch. In this example, the switches are open at 0 minus. No source is connected, thereby current equal to 0. Come to T equal to 0 plus. Immediately after operating, here the switches are closed. When the switches are closed, immediately current circulates the register. Immediately current circulates the register. Register behavior is it allows sudden change of current, it allows sudden change of the voltage also. Come to T equal to infinite. Steady state condition after operating the switch. And the steady state condition also same current circuits V by R. Come to one more example. In the next example, I have taken is inductor. Practical inductor have the finite value of the resistance. In this one, I indicate the internal basis of inductor also. Again, 0 minus immediately before operating. In this example, the switch was open. When the switch was open, no source is connected, thereby current equal to 0. Come to T equal to 0 plus. T equal to 0 plus is immediately after operating the switch. But here, the time variation from 0 minus to 0 plus is very, very less. Here, inductor behavior is a, it does not allow sudden change of current. To support this statement, you can see this uh, simple equation V equal to L dA by dt. If you want to get a sudden changes in the inductor, sudden change is dt is approximately equal to 0. If dt is approximately equal to 0, this VL value is approximately equal to infinite. For sudden change of current through inductor, infinite source voltage is uh, required. But practically, we cannot provide this much of the infinite voltage. 
From this one, we can say this one inductor does not allow sudden change of current. Thereby, at zero place also, the corresponding current is equal to zero. At zero place here, switch is a closed, source is a present. Even though source has a current equal to zero, here the current equal to zero is a property of the open circuit. Current equal to zero property of the open circuit. Come to T equal to infinite. T equal to infinite is a steady state condition after operating the switch. Here which source is given here? DC source. Under steady state condition, what will happen? This DA by DT, current is a constant. Under steady state condition, current is a constant. Thereby DA by DT becomes a zero. Thereby here inductor voltage is also zero. Voltage equal to zero. Voltage equal to zero is a property of the short circuit. Then, if you observe this example carefully, whenever the switches are operated, initially inductor behaving as an open circuit. Later, under steady state condition, same inductor behaving as a short circuit. That means its behavior is changing with respect to time. If you observe the current at t equal to infinite. Here the inductor is short circuited at t equal to infinite. If inductor is short circuited, what the current equal to V by R. Dear students, you have a common doubt here. Inductor does not allow sudden change of current. Then will this inductor allow sudden change of voltage or not? Let us verify that one also. In this example, at t equal to 0 minus switch was open. No source is connected. If no source is connected here, the corresponding VL is equal to 0. <coughs> At t equal to 0 plus instant, inductor behaving as an open circuit. 0 plus inductor is open circuited. This entire voltage, entire source voltage coming as an inductor, VL is equal to V. If you observe carefully here, a 0 minus and 0 plus inductor voltage are the different. From this one, we can use a statement as a inductor does not allow sudden change of current, but it allows sudden change of the voltage. And while solving the problems, the total time period from minus infinite to plus infinite, we divide this one into the three intervals. The first interval is from minus infinite to zero. This minus infinite to zero is a steady state condition before operating the switch. From zero to up to fifth time constant. <coughs> the meaning of it is a fifth time count, five time constants. Here the five time constant statement valid only for the first order system. Only inductor or only capacitor. This entire portion called the transient period. From fifth time constant to up to infinite, this entire portion is a steady state condition after operating switch. Dear students, here the main difference between steady state and transient condition in the steady state condition, voltage and current values are independent on the time. It will not change with respect to time. But if you come to the transient condition, voltage and current magnitude changes with respect to time. And let us see the voltage and current equation for this inductor here. <coughs> In this example, at t equal to 0 since which is a closed, source is connected to the inductor. Then we can use the word as a inductor action is a charging, charging inductor. For charging inductor, if you write the current equation, it is after like this. Directly I am writing expression here. Now if you draw the respect to graph, for charging inductor, always current response is exponential rise. From current equation, we can find out the voltage as the inductor V equal to L dA by dt. If you substitute the current equation here, this voltage equation is obtained. But uh, for charging inductor, voltage response is the exponential decay. Dear students, here don't get confusion. For charging inductor, current response only exponential rise. But inductor voltage response exponential decay. Here we concluded at t equal to infinite, what the inductor voltage becomes a zero. Inductor voltage becomes a zero. 
same concept you can apply for capacitor also but in the capacitor you get the opposite statements come to one more concept in this figure here initially the switch is connected to position 1 when the switch was connected to position 1 source is connected source is connected to the inductor that means before operating the switch before operating the switch, source was connected to the inductor if source was connected there was some current was exist in the inductor that current only i equal to e by r zero minus is the immediately before operating the switch switch was present at position one well sort of the problems that initial current we indicate is a i current come to zero plus at zero plus the switch is a transfer to position two when the switch is a transfer to position two our actual source actual source is disconnected from the inductor even though source disconnected in the very shortest period inductor does not allow sudden change of current inductor can able to maintain the same magnitude of the current we have to observe one more point also, also has a inductor does not allow sudden change current direction also current direction also remains same inductor maintaining the same current even though external source does not exist then we use word as a at this instant we can indicate inductor as a current source well solve the problems if any initial current is exist simply we indicate the inductor as our current source come to t equal to infinite in this example whenever the switch is current position 2 gradually inductor discharges its energy in the resistor energy level goes on decreases if energy level goes on decreases at one instant total energy is a disappears at t equal to infinite no energy is exist if no energy is exist the corresponding current equal to zero again if you do the mathematical analysis current equation is obtained like this in this example when the switch is coming to position 2 action of inductor is a discharging for a discharging inductor the current response is the exponential decay and response exponential decay. Now, let us continue our problem. In this one, what is the requirement is a Vx value at t equal to 0 plus. Dear students, whenever you are solving the problem, first verify whether any initial value is given or not given. Suppose initial value is given, directly start the problem from 0 plus itself. If initial value is not given, first try to find out the initial value. Here, remember one point is a inductor means concentrate on the current. Reason is a current is responsible to produce a magnetic field. Capacitor means focus on the voltage. Because in the capacitor, voltage is responsible to produce an electric field. In this figure, no initial value is given. Then first let us find out the initial value. To find out the initial value, step 1, we have developed the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 minus. Step 1, we have developed the equivalent circuit t equal to 0 minus. Previously we computed 0 minus is come under steady state condition before operating the switch. No, under steady state condition for DC source, this inductor indicated as a short circuit. We indicate the inductor as a short circuit. In this example here, 20 ohms and short circuit both are in the parallel. Equal and distance equal to 0. Here the current always refer goes to low resistance path. Thereby this entire current, this entire current is passed to the short circuit. Initial current is obtained. Come to the step 2. Now, with help of that initial value, with help of that initial value, now we have to have the equivalent circuit at t equal to 0 plus. Previously, we already concluded inductor does not allow sudden change of current. 0 minus and 0 plus currents are the same. When inductor has the initial current, we indicate the inductor as one current source. And inductor does not allow sudden change of current direction also. See, the current is circulating like this. 
सेम डायरेक्शन इंडिकेटेड हेयर दिस 2.5 एम्पीयर्स दिस 2.5 एम्पीयर्स विल नॉट गो टू दिस 20 ओम रेजिस्टर विल नॉट गो टू द 20 ओम दिस 20 ओम रेजिस्टर दिस 20 ओम रेजिस्टर रीजन इज दैट हेयर नो क्लोजर पॉथ इज प्रोवाइडेड thereby this entire 2.5 ampere circulates only in this resistor only in this resistor what is the requirement of the x again here observe the polarities very carefully when the current enters when the current enters in a2 terminal sign for the current is taken as a negative the corresponding resistance that's it dear students every time remember as a whenever the ask the response at t equal to 0 plus instant First, concentrate on the initial values. If initial value is given, directly start the problem zero plus itself. Otherwise, first to find out the initial value by developing equivalent circuit at t equal to zero minus. Remember, as a inductor means concentrate on the current. Capacitor means focus on the voltage. Come to the one more example. In this example, what is the requirement? Current response in inductor for t greater than zero. T greater than means complete response is required. To get the complete response, here we have developed the equivalent circuit at t equal to zero minus, as well as the t equal to infinity is also. Come to the first point. Again, here also first of focus the switch position carefully. In the t equal to zero seconds, in the arrow mark direction, the switch is operated. First, let us find out the initial value. To find out the initial value, develop equivalent circuit T equal to zero minus. T equal to zero minus is a steady state condition before operating the switch. Now, under steady state condition for DC source, this inductor indicates a short circuit. Now, let us find out the current. Here this twelve and six both are condensed series. Initial current is equal to two amperes. Inductor does not allow sudden change of current. There may current value at zero minus and zero plus both are exactly same. Current is obtained. Next, let us see the equivalent circuit T equal to infinite. When or the ask for the complete response, try to find out the initial value and the final value. T equal to infinite. T equal to infinite is again steady state condition. Now this steady state condition what in state after operating the switch? After operating the switch. Now for the DC source, for the DC source, this inductor behaves as a short circuit. Six and six both are going to the parallel. For the equal resistance equal to three ohms. This three and the twelve both are going to series. Total current is obtained. Now total current is coming here. Total current distributed in the six ohms and the six ohms. Resistors are the same. Then total current is equally distributed between the first one and the second one. Total current is obtained. Come to the next step. To indicate the complete response. Now this is a complete response expression. The general equation to get the complete response. Now, in the general equation, R meaning of R nothing but equivalent resistance, equivalent resistance. Meaning of L nothing but equivalent inductance. To find this equivalent resistance, equivalent inductance, we have to find out the time constant of the network. Dear students, here remember as a whenever you are finding time constant, processor is a deactivate all the independent sources. Our voltage source is given. That voltage source replaced by the short circuit. And one more point is that uh, always time constant is calculated after operating the switch. After operating the switch means in this example the switch is closed. Switch is closed and deactivated voltage source replaced by the short circuit. Now we have to find out the equivalent resistance and equivalent inductance. In this example, only one inductor is given. Directly, you can say equivalent inductance. Come to the resistance. 
Now with respect to AB points, with respect to AB points, common points, we have to separate the group of inductors and group of resistors. In this one, only one single inductor is given. Let us come to the group of resistors. <coughs> with respect to AB points, here are the 12 and 6 both are in the parallel. Parallel combination is connected series to the 6 ohms. Equivalent distance is obtained. Now, this is a general equation for the current response. Here, remember, as a general equation is valid for the both RL circuit as well as the RC circuit. For RC circuit only, you have to change this time constant position here. By substituting respect to values here, the total current response is the obtained. Dear students, in the transients, if you work out the more number of questions, then only your doubts will be clarified. And one more thing, to get the confidence in this transience problems, first write the all the respective formulas of charging element and discharging element in a separate sheet. First remember the formulas. If you remember the formulas, you will get some confidence. And uh, while doing revision also, first to work out the simple questions, later only go for the complex questions. By practice only, we get the confidence in this topic. I hope you got some basics about this transients. In the next session, I will discuss some more questions from the transient analysis. Good luck. Thank you very much.